In this video, we'll be looking at a problem involving linear and angular speed. The formulas that we've learned so far for linear speed is velocity is equal to the distance along the arc of a circle per unit of time. Velocity is equal to the radius times the central angle measured in radians per unit of time. And velocity is equal to the radius times the angular speed omega. Angular speed is omega is equal to theta in radians per unit of time. The problem that we'll be working is a belt runs a pulley of radius 5 centimeters at 120 revolutions per minute. We're asked to find the angular speed in radians per second and the linear speed in centimeters per second. Now I'll do these with formulas and then I'll look at them with unit multipliers as well. So the first thing that we want to do is find the angular speed in radians per second. Now what they're giving us is angular speed, but it's 120 revolutions per minute. So we need to change that from this angular speed to uh, radians per second. So since one revolution is 2 pi radians, we can say that 120 revolutions gets multiplied by 2 pi radians. And that's actually 2 pi radians per revolution. And that'll give us uh, the number of radians per second that we're revolving because these revolutions cancel. So it's actually going 240 pi radians per minute. Then we know that there are 60 seconds in one minute, so I can take this 240 pi radians per minute, and we're actually using unit multipliers. One minute is the same as 60 seconds, and our units cancel off. So we have 240 pi radians per 60 seconds. Now this is radians per second, which is what I'm asked for, but I do need to simplify this. 240 pi divided by 60 gives us 4 pi radians per second. We could have started with our 120 revolutions per minute and use straight unit multipliers. So 120 revolutions in one minute. I know that one revolution is the same as 2 pi radians my revolutions cancel off. And then I need to go to seconds, so I would go 1 minute 60 seconds. And my minutes cancel. So this gives us 4 pi radians per second. Our B problem says to find the linear speed, and I want to go to centimeters per second. We know our angular speed is 4 pi radians per second, and when I want to uh, make a connection between linear speed and angular speed, I uh, can use this formula, velocity equals radius times the angular speed. So let's uh, do that to show you the formula at work. 
uh, velocity equals radius times the angular speed, omega. We want our radius, uh, which is 5 centimeters. And we want to multiply that by the angular speed, which was 4 pi radians per second. And that'll give us 20 pi centimeters per second. This is approximately 62.8.